Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am here to break hearts, burst your bubble, and get you to throw away a few toxic things that may be lurking in your beauty cabinet, under the sink, wherever you do your hair. We're gonna be talking about hair goods, and we're gonna be talking about recall dry shampoo. There is a recall, and I don't know if you have been made aware of this. It's kind of a little bit under the radar. And when I was talking with the women in my life, in my private life and my sisters, not a lot of people were up to speed with this. So I thought, why not use my platform for some good and share with you guys that there is a recall on a lot of dry shampoo due to benzene being created as a byproduct, I think would be the way you would explain it through the ingredients involved in many aerosol products that we might be spraying on us in our hair. We're gonna kind of get into the nitty gritty of it. I have thrown away so much and have gone on the deep dig because when it comes to breathing in carcinogenic, known cancer causing ingredients to the point there have been major recalls from major brands, I think that we should keep our eyes open, be aware and do better with what we're bringing into our beauty routine to stay safe. It's never fun getting rid of a favorite item, but I do have other things to recommend. That is the good news because I have gone on a mission to find you guys, not just like, well, I guess we threw this away. Now we have like, do do do. Like now we have want, want, want this kind of a okay kind of product. No, I found incredible hair care where I am having like the most lushy, shiny, holds a curl, textured, volumized not greasy, great dry shampoo, like A to Z. I have great recommendations for you guys. None, not an inch of this is sponsored. I purchased all of these things myself. I'm not affiliated or associated with any of these brands. I might have affiliate links, but I'm not affiliated with these brands. So I will list things in the description box below. I also have a new technique that I am doing to curl my hair that I am so happy with. Like my husband, he sees my hair and he's like, wow, like you've never done your hair better. This looks amazing. And it's just this simple curling technique. I kind of pay attention <laughs> like a stalker when I'm having my hair done. And Rick Henry, who has done my hair for years, uh, he does this kind of like twirly technique that I've always wanted to master, but he does it like so quick and it comes out just like, oh my gosh, like the best hair of your life. I can't get to his level of perfection with hair. Like he is like somewhere in outer space and I'm just kind of like floating up above the ground, like trying my best, you know? But he's like so good with hair, so amazing. He does like these big waves. He did my hair for my Tati Beauty photo shoot and that was like one of the best hair days of my life, just like big luscious curls. He does this kind of like snappy twisty thing and I'm always watching, trying to figure it out. And I finally, like I would say 70% of the way, figured it out for those of us that aren't good at hair and do our hair at home. Stay tuned because I will be showing you my new curling secret. Like, is this not some good curls, right? And I brushed it through and just everything is working. So the timing of this recall is perfect because I have a lot to say about hair. First, let's take a look at the offenders, right? Ooh, let's go there. Yo. Okay, so there are 19 dry shampoos recalled over cancer-causing chemical. Is yours one of them? So I'm gonna put this list in the description box as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and say personally, I am done with aerosol dry shampoo. Just knowing that this can happen with so many of these aerosols, I don't know how I feel about breathing all of that in. I like my lungs and I want to keep them clean and healthy and functioning. And honestly, the alternative of using a powder and not the aerosol is just fine. I am super enjoying it and actually, my scalp is not as itchy. So I think there is something there as well. I don't know if you guys have ever encountered this where you use dry shampoo a little too often and you end up being like this person that's like, God, like my scalp itches. And it kind of just irritates the crap out of your scalp. That cannot be good. That is not it. So I personally am only using dry shampoos like this one right here. This is an absolutely amazing dry shampoo. It is totally clean. It is organic as labeled. So you're not getting any spray pesticides on any of the ingredients that you are then pounding on your 
scalp close to your brain. This dry shampoo is paraben-free, sulfate-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, formaldehyde-free, and cruelty-free. It is 100% vegan and organic. So uh, something that I like to look for on my food and then body products specifically, like I'll dig into the brands. I want to know ingredient to ingredient, like if you're slathering something on your body specifically, or especially eating something, that there's no glyphosate. So that's my big one when I look for non-GMO and organic. It's the glyphosate to me that is an irritant and removing it as much as possible from my life has been such a huge win. Oh my gosh, I was just telling my mom the other night, I'm like, these health levels keep, like I keep leveling up. So I, for years, and years and years and years could not sleep through the night. Like it would be such a rare occasion. Like if I was sick and I took NyQuil, like maybe I could sleep through the night, but I'm that person that would wake up like two times every night. And then I went through some kind of weird thing where I'd always kind of like, I'd kind of wander into the kitchen, kind of like a zombie. Like I wouldn't really remember what was happening. And I'd be like, I need, I need sugar. Like, um, I need a cookie. And like, I'd tell doctors, this is so embarrassing. I would tell doctors about this and they're like, oh, that's hormonal. And like, try eating a piece of meat before bed or something. And it's just, it was just a whole thing. I'd wake up, I'd be like, and I just, and I'd eat and go back to bed. And I do that for years. So recently with this whole diet change and being more dominantly carnivore, I still have potatoes. I still eat some vegetables. I'm not like strict, butter meat only, like that's not what I'm into, but it is interesting that not only has my endometriosis resolved, I don't wake up in the middle of the night anymore. I don't get migraines anymore. I'm not as bloated anymore. And my skin on my body is so much softer and smoother. It's just like, I keep like kind of leveling up. So I am encouraged to research and look more into healthier options in the beauty space as well. So this right here, laugh if you will, that it says organic. I know some people are like, that doesn't mean anything. And I'm like, oh, you better believe it does because the crops are not sprayed the same way as they would be when it doesn't say organic. So this is the Acure dry shampoo. You just do a little sprinkle and then I tip my head over and I do a lot of this a lot of little dancing the fingers around, scalp massage, you flip it back. Not only is this great for removing oil and odor, but it gives you like this really beautiful volume and it brushes clean. I do find that the spray on dry shampoos, they leave a film and a residue that if you are brunette, sometimes it's hard to brush it out. I don't have the same issue with this. So I really, really love that one. Let's quickly just, Let's just shame all of the <laughs> recalled dry shampoo because I know you guys want to know. So Dove dry shampoo is out of here. There are, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them are listed on here for recall. Nexus dry shampoo, Nexus energy foam shampoo, Suave dry shampoo, Suave professionals dry shampoo, Tresemme, Bedhead. Um, there are four from Bedhead. So I'm going to put the list of what was recalled in the description box below so you guys can be informed and then make better choices as a consumer. And let me know in the comments, do we like me being kind of like an investigator with the recalls? I'm kind of in it. I don't think it is fair for us to be exposing ourselves to things that could be super harmful to our health. And when they do these recalls, sadly, they don't make it loud enough where sometimes we even know like, did you, did you know? Leave me that in the comments as well. Did you guys know about this? Because I will also say earlier, was it this year? I think early this year, there was a sunscreen recall that had benzene as an issue as well. And you guys know how I used to like, with the Neutrogena, it was on that list and I got rid of it. And I'm like, eh, you know, like this is just no good. There's gotta be a better way. And I mean, now I just dunk my body in beef tallow and I have like a beautiful, like I have my skin on my chest. I'm happy with it. It's looking good. We are anti-aged, hydrated, all of that. <laughs> um, beef tallow it is for the win. So anyway, that's my big expose on the dry shampoo. While we're here talking about hair, I kind of wanted to share with you this brand that is now at Ulta. 
I actually tried initially just a small shampoo and conditioner. I was a little bit hesitant. I'm like, this is organic and all and super clean, but like, does it work? Because I've been super disappointed with a lot of the shampoos that I had been trying out. Oh my gosh, I'm talking a lot. I need, I need a refresh. We need a refresh. Legit, this looks like way naughtier. Like it looks like a champagne, hey. It's coconut water. Classy lady, just right out of the bottle, like so. Um, coconut water is also unimportant, but important. Coconut water has been just a game changer for my hydration. It tastes so good. It gives me energy. I just love it. And I'm telling everyone lately, I'm like, if you have a headache, you likely need minerals and salt. Like just slow it down and hydrate, have some coconut water. Okay, so let's talk about Inner Sense. This brand, knocked my socks off. I am so happy that I tried this. My hair is so clean and so soft, and I love the ingredients in this. It is made in the US. It's Inner Sense Organic Beauty. So much of this is organic, the ingredients. I love the way this smells too, and it's all essential oil infused. I have their hair hydrating mask. This is a mask to repair and revitalize dry and coarse damaged hair. I do also have their Serenity Smoothing Cream. I used this today. Well, I use this every time I blow dry my hair, but I blow dried my hair today. So this is just like a thicker cream. You can see it has some thickness to it and it absorbs in pretty quickly. I wanted to describe the fragrance for you. This smells like spa kind of it almost has a patchouli thing to it it smells expensive and like i'm in a field of jasmine but like patchouli kind of sexy warm it smells so good i don't know why i am inclined to put this in my hair right now it's just like a really beautiful beautiful smoothing cream definitely makes the hair have some nice shine to it and defrizzes it quite a bit. I do have the I Create Finish Workable Hairspray. I'm obsessed with this. I can actually go ch -ch -ch on each individual piece that I am curling, and I don't feel like the whole barrel like smokes all of the hairspray off of it. It doesn't get crunchy. It just leaves this nice hold. The curl's holding really nicely, but it's not crunchy like at all. I'm quite amazed by this. And then what I'll do when I'm done is I will flip my hair over and I will ch -ch 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 and then do the tussle, tussle, tussle flip. To me, this also gives the hair quite a bit of texture. And the ingredients in here are phenomenal. Like legitimately, we have alcohol, of course, it's a hairspray, water, we have sucrose glycerin, we have rice protein, we have chamomile, eucalyptus, ginkgo biloba, honey extract, we have uh, da -da -da, radish root, uh, quinoa, just a lot of really great ingredients and this is certified organic. I feel like I'm in love with this hairspray. I never thought I would be able to get away from aerosol sprays, but this one just hits hard for me and I'm such a fan. Okay, now we do also have the Inner Peace Whipped Cream Texturizer. This is a styling cream that is not like a typical like waxy paste, but if you were doing like a sleek pony or sometimes I'll take these and I will actually scrunch the end. I know that seems like not what you wanna be doing with your hair, but I will do that sometimes to give that like do you see it? It's like a PC texture to it. But I wanna share with you, if you are doing like a nice bun, you guys know I love a good bun, something like this that will give you texture and hold and not crunch or give you that gel like flaky thing is really, really helpful. Okay, we have Inner Sense I Create Shine Glossing Serum. Now this is a beautiful serum. Let's see the ingredients on this. Again, we have olive oil as a first ingredient, macadamia oil. We have coconut oil. We have jojoba oil, grape oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, cranberry oil, and shea butter. Now this is just going to gloss the hair reduce frizz. This is something as a trick that you can put on the tips of your hair before you go to bed. So you wanna take like a little bit of an oil like this, not on the roots. What you're gonna do, and gosh, does this smell 
legit. I want to rub this on my body. It smells like a fresh garden, but not like a, uh, like, not like old lady perfume. You know what I'm saying? There's just no other way to put it. You know, like that rose intense, like old fashioned floral. No, this is like a youthful, yummy. I want to just wander in a beautiful gown in like a pretty field of flowers like that is just like what this smells like so it's very just fresh so put this on the tips of your hair before you go to bed you can throw your hair in a braid you can throw it in a low pony you wake up and that oil will kind of sink in to the ends of your hair and it will just keep the ends looking fresh and not looking kind of crunchy, how like after using a lot of hairspray and styling on day two, day three, the ends can kind of start looking a little bit frayed. So that's sometimes how I like to use a hair oil. There are many different ways that you can use it. This smells so good, I might, there's nothing preventing me from using this on my body. So I probably will be using this oil on my body as well because it just smells so beautiful if there's one product in this whole range that smells like can i just like like i'm having an issue with perfume can we just make this a perfume because it smells like a dream come true okay so what i don't have in front of me is the shampoo and conditioner now i have the color safe shampoo and conditioner in my studio shower which i typically shower in there and then james showers here in our bathroom i don't really know well i do know why we do that because i have a shower filter in that one and i'm I'm next level weird with all this stuff. So I wanna keep my color safe and I don't want um, chlorine drying out my skin or hair. So anyway, I have my shampoo in my shower and James has the regular more, more lush conditioning shampoo and conditioner duo in his. He loves the way that smells and it's making his hair look great. So we're both just like on the inner sense train. We love it. We think it's a phenomenal brand. So way to go with this line. I love it. All right, this is not as clean of a formula, but I am gonna show you guys. I picked this up recently at Ulta and this is without gluten and sulfates and parabens, but it does still have a few questionable things in here. Um, this is not on the recall list. It's not as clean as the Inner Sense or the Acure dry shampoo that I showed you. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not the best, but it works really, really well. So I did wanna share that with you guys. Some of these volumizing powders tend to like kind of make the hair um, sticky in a way, like they can do that. This will actually give you I'll do one side and not the other so you guys can see. This will give you some like lift at the root and a little width and like widening, especially if you're doing this right after you blow dry and you're kind of like teasing a section. I like to do that and then just go in here like so. I love doing it on fresh hair and second day hair. So that is a really excellent volumizing powder. I like the pump on it. It does not go and like totally saturate the hair and too much product all at once. So I really, really like that. And then I do have one more item that I'm gonna share that's kind of just like a secret sauce item. And that is the Topic Hair Filler in Medium Brown. When I can remember this and when I care to do it, if I'm going out on the town, which doesn't happen too often lately, but when I do, I like to get the back of my head um, with something like this. It's like a colored fiber because I have a cowlick that really goes over to one way pretty dramatically and you can see my scalp quite a bit and I'm, I always joke around I'm like that's my bald spot and it's like um no that's just a cowlick you have a lot of hair that is just a cowlick and the way my head is shaped so if you have that issue at all this is a volumizing microfiber and you just literally pop 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 they have these special combs that you can use with it I just kind of take my fingers like so and then spritz on some hairspray because somehow in my mind that makes it better and I'm good to go. I wanna give a shout out to my favorite little clips. If you guys wanna know how I get the Tati bun to be the Tati bun, do I have a rubber band where I could show you guys? Ugh. We're gonna try and do it with a scrunchie, but you guys ask me all the time, you're like, how do you make your bun so big? Show us, and I'm like, it's so easy. Okay, this is not gonna be as cute as I would think. Okay, so what I do is I pull it through once and then, and I usually do this with just a rubber band. This is how it, this, wow. 
looks so good. Um, okay, so that's how it starts. And then I take the edge and I twist and I twist. And you wouldn't see the scrunchie, obviously, if you're just doing this with a thinner rubber band. And I take that big section here and I bring it all the way around. And then I take one of my favorite little clippies from Sally's. Um, I saw on IG, there's a brand that sells these in like all different colors and it looks more high end. And a part of me was like, oh my gosh, like I need that. But I always like to hide these in the bun. I don't want people to see a color. I want it to kind of blend in. And you can get a fat pack of these super cheap at Sally's. So I would just recommend that. I take one of these and I go in the back and I kind of claw it in and press it right through the center and and I'm living my best life. So obviously I would take more time to like brush everything up and sometimes I take a few of the pieces out and make it look a little more, oh my gosh, was I really gonna say spunky? Does anyone even say that? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is, whoa. Knock my mic over. So that's the Tati bun. James makes a joke. He's like, whenever we go out and you are wearing that bun, people can see you from a mile away. Because depending on my mood in the day, the bun can get quite excessive and large and in charge. So yeah, so there we have it. Let me leave you with a clip of me curling and twirling my hair. I told you we would get to that. And this is what we do. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna pretend that this is plugged in. Okay, this is the quickest hair tutorial ever. We learned how to bun. We learned different hair care that's healthy and so fabulous. So what I do is I clamp. Sometimes I'll pull all the way through just to kind of like give the hair a good smooth. And then I curl pretty close to the root. Around once, I go again, I go again. But then what I do is I undo this section. So we've undone it and then I bring it back up for a second to heat it up. I undo it and I go a little bit down and then I curl this whole thing while it's kind of twisted just for a moment. And then I bring it down again and then I kind of hold this, it should be hot, and I kind of release and then you have this beautiful, beautiful curl. So that was my like amazing, amazing what I discovered because if you go like this, and then you go down. You're just kind of continually heating it up and twisting it more until it's almost like all the way twisted around. And that heat just keeps the curl looking so beachy and beautiful. And what I would recommend is let the hair set, like let it stay in what might not look like the prettiest curl ever. It'll be kind of tightly twisted up. And when you're done and the hair has cooled down, then you flip your hair over, shake it all out, brush it out, and you will have the longest lasting curls. This is the way to do it. This is like, I mean, and then you can really move your fingers through them and they just stay nice and wavy and I'm loving this technique. So there's a random video for you guys, yay. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my hair care routine, a few tips and techniques, and then a solid warning to get rid of the dry shampoo that might be lurking about wherever you are doing your hair. Just make sure that you Google, take a look if it's on that list, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, that you go and have the best day ever. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.